Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and tonight we're drinking a red bottle filled with a bunch of bourbon and even more words. This guy got a new haircut and a new bottle of whiskey, but is the whiskey any good? I haven't determined it yet. We're doing what some people would consider to be a comprehensive review or an idiotic tasting of Clyde May's five-year special release whiskey from Alabama. I saw this bottle on the shelf at a local store that carried spirits and beerets, and I was like, give me the one with all the words on it because it's gotta be good. This red-labeled son of a bitch was like 60-some dollars. And I didn't know it until she's like, that'll be 60 some dollars. And I was like, ooh, didn't really want to spend that much, especially on this. But I didn't want to look like a cheapskate. So I handed over the high interest credit card. Ring. That was three days ago. Currently, I owe about $96 on this son of a bitch. Clyde Mays, five year special reserve. <laughs> Bullshit, cork pop. Wow, there's so much on this bottle. There is so much on this bottle, it's gonna take us an entire hour to get through it. Starting from the top. Available since 1946. Legal since 2001. Ho oh, oh. ho. Con, 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 Conica Ridge? Conica Ridge? Con, Conica? Konica Ridge Distillery. We're going with that. Clyde Mays, CM. Special Reserve, aged five years. Straight bourbon whiskey. Small batch, so you know it's good. Handcrafted, so you know it's good. A Special Reserve made from a curated blend of aged barrels, mellowed and non-chill filtered. Milliliters, 750. Approved for public release. Clyde May says right there, he approved it. So you know that he approved it. Clyde May was a moonshiner by trade, but a craftsman by heart. He aged small batches in charred oak barrels, experimented until he created his own unique finish. It's got a pretty sweet gold on red. Generosity can be a powerful thing. Take Clyde May's Special Reserve. Each year, Clyde gifted most of his very best whiskey to close friends and lucky locals. Clyde's whiskey was forged in hand-built stills. Receiving it was seen as a sign of respect, along with Alabama's Conica Ridge. Today, this five-year-old stray bourbon represents a generous amount of caramelized orchard and citrus fruits that mingle in the palate with clove and other wood spices for a full, long finish. Bottled at a smooth 110 proof, Clyde May Special Reserve. An exclusive generosity indeed. Distilled in Indiana, bottled by Konica Brands, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Clyde Mays, a bunch of unique stills, and his own recipe, and generosity, and smooth and long finishes. He was a moonshiner, so you know he knows how to make it. His experimental, he aged them in small batches, and then he bought them from MGP. Looks like we did our reading for the month. Now, time to get into the nose and palate and give Clyde May Special Reserve 5 year 110 proof straight bourbon whiskey a score. How will you be? Let's find out, shall we? Swirl it and twirl it. That's what we do. This glass is extra wet because not all of the bourbon I poured went inside the glass. Some of it went on the outside of the glass and some of it landed on the opposite side of my ass, which is my front ass. It's like a toffee, but not a good toffee. It's like a toffee coffee. It's like a to it's like coffee with a toffee coffee creamer in it. Like a little bit of apple coming through there, like a little bit of red apple. 
It's got a bit of a funk on it, which I feel like there are good smells in there, but they're being covered up by a layer of ick. A layer of yuck, maybe. Maybe just a layer of uh uh-uh is coating those tremendously nice scents. Is this weeded? Is this weeded? Are you weeded? Are you weeded? This smells like it could be weeded. Who do you work for? She got a bit of a funk to her. It's like this bourbon went camping for nine days and did a lot of hiking and did not shower. Not once. Didn't even wash up with soap in the lake. Just said, nah, we're good here. We'll bake in the tent. You know those caramel candies? They're supposed to be chewy and they've got like a white vanilla middle in them. And then they come in a wrapper that you pull apart and they're like caramel with a white vanilla middle. I kind of get that on here. Hiding behind a layer of a bit of a funk. It's a bit sour. The nose is a little bit sour. Like I said, hasn't showered. Therefore, it's been soured. And put that on a t-shirt. Cheers. Bingo. Dingo. Experiencing it. Experiencing it. Experiencing it. Configuring data. Configuring data. Analyzing. 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 Pretty light on the palate. It drinks below its proof. It drinks maybe around 100 proof, not 110. It's not as oily as I would like. It's almost an enjoyable sipper until the back of it. The back of it turns bitter and unpleasant on the finish. I am being so analytical with these reviews. It's weird because there's a, there's a bit of a sour note on the nose like I've talked about. That note doesn't translate to the palate, but it does translate to the finish. Just when you thought you were in the clear. Wrong, freaking wrong. There is not a lot going on there. It's totally fine until the finish. It's not mind blowing, it's not great. It's fair, the bourbon is fair, it's a fair bourbon. Personally, um, I wouldn't buy another bottle of this. I didn't know what to expect from this, but um, I guess I'm not surprised. It was approved for public release, and that means it's approved for public criticism. I give Clyde Mays Special Reserve five-year straight bourbon whiskey a score of... Six point three. Six point three. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on buying bottles based on words that are scribed on them because they give you so much to read and so much more additional content, even if the words don't mean much. If you made it this far in the video, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. Clyde Mays. Fan? Not a fan? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think?